another beautiful morning on the homestead today, guys. I'm gonna start out by getting some water on the other half of the garden because it has been hot here in Idaho. Probably gonna be mid 90s again today. Head to the bottom, get all the animals fed. What are you doing all the way up here? So our first batch of meat chickens is about ready to be processed. I think we're going to do that here in the next couple days. We also have some new baby chicks. That's our second batch of meat chickens. Make sure they got food and water in here. Checking all the sheep. Everyone's got food and water in here. You can see we got the ram lamb penned up. We're trying to break him because him and mom, <laughs> they got a bond that is just like that. And we need this ram separated because we don't want any accidents happening, essentially. So he's got food inside his pen. He's got water in his pen. The ewes have the water <laughs> back over here and they have this entire mountain of food behind them. So they are good. The laying chickens are good. Everybody's happy. Sometimes in life, guys, things do not go as planned. And that is uh, not really what today's video is, is about, but uh, it's kind of about this hay right behind me in our shipping container barn. Liz and I just picked up three tons of hay, got it all stacked up in the barn. And that is kind of what today's video is. So we don't have any footage, unfortunately, of us going to pick this up, loading it on the trailer and getting it back to the house. Once we get back to the house, that's where uh, we have footage of. But that's how it goes. Sometimes, you know, mistakes were made, lessons were learned. We got all our hay in and that is really what matters. So hopefully you guys got all yours in, got ready for the winter and uh, enjoy. All right guys, so we got three tons of hay on the trailer. And uh, as you can see, this isn't like freaking top quality hay. Overall, it's pretty decent, and we're getting a really good deal on it. We're paying 90 bucks per ton for this, and uh, yeah, right now, that is a really, really good deal for hay. Um, going rate is about 200, but since this is last year's hay, it has a few spots on it. Got a better deal. Ended up being one, two, three, four sacks, and I think it's like either 81 bales or 84 bales. Can't remember now, but it should be right about three tons. The trailer is rated to 10 tons. We got the three quarter ton truck, but one ton springs in the back. Gonna be slow going, but uh, yeah, we'll get her home. We made it back with all the hay. It's actually been a couple of days since we went and got it. We wanted to give the bales that were at the bottom of the stack a chance to kind of be more exposed to like the heat and the air to dry out as much as possible. I'd say 99% of the bales look really good, but just a couple of them in a few spots looked like they were a little bit wet. So we wanted those to dry out as much as possible before putting them into the barn um, until next year. Mike's on his way down too. We had talked about doing like maybe one ton at a time into the barn here. We've got three tons, um, one ton at a time, just to kind of do that same thing, let it air out, make sure it's really, really dry before we put it away. Okay, so we got the barn all cleaned out. It's looking good. I think the next move is to restack this little pile. There's not much, there's what, like, I don't know, less than 10 bales right here. So we're gonna restack it so that this door right here can still open up, but it's across the entire barn rather than on this one side, like I said. 
So restack this real quick, just kind of get a feel for how we're gonna stack it and then start getting that trailer unloaded. All right guys, we got about half of this trailer unloaded and in the barn, it's, which is for us is uh, just this shipping container. And honestly guys, it works out pretty perfect because two bales fit across pretty tight. Liz and I are in no rush to get this trailer unloaded. We got lots of good weather ahead of us, no rain. Um, so I think we're gonna save the rest for tomorrow morning when it's still nice and cool, because it's already hot. Well, that wraps up Liz and I's haystacking excursion for 2023. Yeah, 2023 hay, hay season, season is behind. <laughs> yeah, check it off the list. So that's yeah. cool. I've never been the biggest fan of doing hay. Um, I'm like pretty allergic to hay, so it's always just super struggle. fun. Really big struggle. I finally have learned in my old age that if I wear a mask, I can somewhat breathe at the end of it. But yeah, uh, yeah still not super fun. That sucks. But, but it's one of those things. I mean, it, it's worth it for sure. That's just over three tons in there. So that will be plenty of hay for our four sheep that we're going to have over the winter time. Um, so yeah, definitely worth it. I would say the shipping container barn works out really well. Um, it stays nice and dry in there. At least that's our experience from last winter. So it's definitely a good deal. Good setup we have going on. Yeah, you may be wondering how we came up with uh, three tons for four sheep. So from the research and just like the experience we have done and have, um, sheep need about 4% of their body weight per day. Mm -hmm. So if you do like 200 days, say we feed them, right. each sheep is weighing about 130 pounds max probably. Yep. Um, I can't think of all that off the top of my head, but we ended up with three ton. We actually had some left over from last year. So we have a little more than three ton and yep. three ton should be much more than we need anyway for those four sheep it should be more than enough um so and hopefully if we play our cards right we'll have a couple babies come springtime um so they'll be eating on it as well once they're old enough to do that yeah so that's I the idea so. with the that's, surplus yeah that's the that's the hope right there is that we'll have more than enough a little bit extra every year we are not going to be feeding these sheep this hay that we just stacked anytime soon because it's still, you know, the heat of the summer out here. Back behind us, you can see where they've been pasturing up on that hillside back there. There's still so much food for them up there. So we really won't start feeding this hay until maybe October, yeah. November, somewhere in there. Somewhere in November, probably, like once all the grass dies and yep. starts to snow, really. And then we'll keep them down here. Um, at their barn full time. The old Chevy did like so good for an old truck, pretty much mm -hmm. to be expected for a, that type of truck at least. Right. 1976, I think the gooseneck trailer is a 79, I believe. Uh, the gooseneck is rated to 10,000 pounds. I think I said 10 tons in the beginning of this video, but the trailer is rated to 10,000. We had 6,000 on it today. The trailer itself weighs 2,000. Right. So that was 8,000 pounds pulling behind that 76 Chevy. Uh, it's basically a one ton, mm -hmm. but yeah, 350, yeah. four speed. Did great. I'm Pulls just like happy. To, yeah, seriously, it did great. I'm happy to have this done though. That's a good thing to have checked up the list. Yep, we appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully everybody is doing well. You got your hay in. Let us know down in the comments below. Heck yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.